As machine learning gains a foothold in more and more companies, teams are struggling with the intricacies of managing the machine learning lifecycle. In this short presentation, I'll describe key elements that you'll want in a machine learning platform. The typical starting point is to give each data scientist a notebook backed by a GPU instance in the cloud and to have a separate team manage deployment and serving. But this approach breaks down as the complexity of the applications and the number of deployments grow. As a result, more teams are looking for machine learning platforms. Startups and cloud providers are beginning to offer end-to-end -end machine learning platforms. Some companies are choosing to build their own machine learning platforms. Several companies, mainly in the technology sector, have shared detailed descriptions of their internal machine learning platforms. This includes Uber with Michelangelo, Facebook with FB Learner, and Airbnb with Big Head. A machine learning platform consists of many components. At a high level, this includes tools for working with data and identifying and managing features used in models, tools for model selection, training, and testing, and tools for model governance and model operations. With so many components involved, it can be daunting to embark on building such a platform. There's also the need to scale up and distribute these components. It's important to highlight that you need not build everything from scratch. For example, there are several libraries built with the distributed computing platform Ray that are becoming popular building blocks of machine learning platforms. In fact, a growing number of developers building ML platforms and ML components are using Ray because it has an ecosystem of standalone libraries that can be used to address some of the items I'll describe in this video. Ray also has drop-in replacements for parallelizing very popular libraries used by Python developers. And finally, developers are learning that there are a growing number of popular machine learning related libraries that use Ray. Here's a partial list of companies that are already using Ray's collection of libraries alongside other ML platform components. This list includes internal ML platforms, as well as machine learning platforms that enterprises can use and license. ML platform builders love Ray because unlike monolithic platforms, users have the flexibility to use one or more of the existing Ray libraries or to use Ray to build their own libraries. Let's return to the topic of designing machine learning platforms. In a recent post, we shared insights derived from conversations with many ML platform builders. We listed features that will be critical to ensuring that your machine learning platform is well positioned for modern AI applications. Let me briefly describe these key features. First, developers and machine learning engineers tend to use a variety of tools and programming languages. But with the rise of deep learning, Python has become the dominant programming language for machine learning. Make sure that your ML platform supports a variety of machine learning tools but pay special attention to support for Python libraries for machine learning. Second, as we noted in the previous article, the demands of machine learning applications are increasing at a breakneck speed. The rise of deep learning and new workloads means that distributed computing will be common for machine learning. So you need to plan accordingly. Unfortunately, many developers have relatively little experience in distributed computing. Scaling and distributed computation are areas where Ray has been helpful to many users we've spoken with. Ray allows developers to focus on their applications instead of the challenges of distributed computing. Ray SGD simplifies distributed training for PyTorch and TensorFlow. And instead of spending time on DevOps, a built-in cluster launcher makes it simple to set up a Ray cluster. Third, Modern AI applications are notoriously compute hungry. You don't train a model just once. Finding the best model often requires searching among various hyperparameter settings. 
This process is called hyperparameter tuning, and it can be very expensive. One of the more popular tools in this area is Tune, a scalable hyperparameter tuning library built on top of Ray. Tune runs on a single node or on a cluster, and has quickly become one of the most widely used libraries in the Ray ecosystem. Reinforcement learning is another area worth highlighting. As I noted in a previous video, there are emerging applications of RL in recommendations and personalization, simulation and optimization, financial time series, and public policy. Ray provides a simple yet highly scalable library called RLlib that developers and machine learning engineers across several organizations are already using in production. Fourth, as companies begin to use and deploy more machine learning models, teams of developers will need to be able to collaborate with each other and with other teams. Your ML platform should enable both sharing and discovery. Consider the key stages of model development and operations, and assume that teams of people with different backgrounds will collaborate during each of those phases. Finally, your ML platform should enable deploying models to production. MLOps is an emerging set of practices focused on productionizing the machine learning lifecycle. It is a relatively new term that draws ideas from continuous integration and continuous deployment, two widely used software development practices. In the context of machine learning, you want tools that to tie together several stages, including training, tuning, and deployment. To that end, Ray has components that would be useful for companies moving towards CI-CD for machine learning. It already has libraries for key stages of the ML lifecycle. Ray SGD for training, Tune for model tuning, and Serve for model deployment. Hence, Ray will allow your teams to more readily bring CI-CD methods into their ML ops practice. Ray and its ecosystem of libraries is a great substrate to build machine learning platforms on. We are still in the very early stages of machine learning adoption. It's important that you have an ML platform designed for AI workloads. To learn more about machine learning tools and platforms, attend the first Ray Summit, a free virtual conference at the end of September. Visit raysummit.org for details. Thank you.